Um, I'm Jan Beckers. I'm a serial entrepreneur who created six companies before I was 29. And the last and most important company I created was Hitfox Group. So four years ago, Hitfox Group was initially a game distribution startup, funded with a low six, seven figure amount. The initial business model we started with, that failed. But we had created a very strong organization, so we were able to pivot. From game distribution, we quickly pivoted to game advertising, and it worked out. So four years later, Hitfox Group is now a company builder with a portfolio of 15 companies, of which about 80% will be successful. We have currently 450 professionals globally out of 45 nationalities and get more than 1,200 applications per month of strong people who want to work with us. And we have built this with only 5 million investment in the Hitfox group itself. The rest came out of what we developed in the companies. And there we have additional co-investors and are also open for working with further ones. So looking at our portfolio, it's now a mix of ad tech, very much related to data-driven businesses, which we started second. And then in 2014, we started FinLeap, which is a complete separate factor, factory under Hitfox Group, which produces at the moment six to eight new high-quality fintech companies. As of now, we have in the portfolio Savedo, which helps people in the times of zero interest rates to invest their money abroad. And since we launched, we had about 50 million accounts under management within a few months, and it's growing strong. Then we have Billfront, giving app developers and advertising networks access to factoring solutions. Basically, if you are an app developer, have an outstanding invoice against Google, Apple also, we can refinance this with Billfront. Then we have Valendo, online pawn lending, helping people to get loans when they don't can show securities except physical goods. And then there is FinReach, a company, a software as a service company, helping banks to digitalize their business. And Finance Ads is a joint venture where we basically help fintech companies and banks to acquire customers online. And then there is four more companies, very interesting ones that we are working on right now. So working on fintech, it's 150 professionals, six to eight new companies that we start in, uh, in 2015 or that will be launched. And we provide them with 500K to 5 million in seed funding from us and our co-investors. Why did we move into fintech? So first of all, it's a very big opportunity. There is 4.7 trillion in revenues of traditional banking institutions at risk right now. And if they perceive it as their risk, it's in the end the opportunity for all the new fintech entrepreneurs out there right now. And 31% of banking customers are not happy with their banks right now, which is an incredibly low rate. I don't know any other industry with a lower customer satisfaction. A great opportunity to build good products supporting customers. And then, and this was for me personally, the starting fact, 85% of professional fund managers and money managers don't beat their index. And that was the point when a while ago, I said, okay, we have to go in. When I was 15, I convinced my parents, after speaking three times with them, to invest my driver's license savings, which they had put on the side on a low interest account, into electronic arts, now a leading game manufacturer globally. I made, I think, 300% return on that investment. And since then, since I'm 15, 70 to 100% of my personal liquidity 
is always in stocks. And since I'm an internet entrepreneur, it's almost always in internet stocks. And I consistently outperformed traditional money managers. And so I thought, why am I doing this only with my little own money? And why am I maybe only supporting a few of my entrepreneurial friends also investing their money? Figured this doesn't make sense. So actually, I should run a very big fund. But I didn't want to become just a money manager. So I figured out there must be a synergetic way. And for me, the synergetic way was to build fintech companies, thereby being so close to the ecosystem of finance that in the end, building up the fund could just be a very nice side product of what we are doing as entrepreneurs. And this is happening right now. But let's look at the opportunity. With the very low interest rates we have right now in Europe, there is 500 billion that Europe could have more in wealth. 500 billion. That is much, much more than we have in problems in South Europe right now. So all that would be solved if just people would invest their money a little bit better than just putting it into a low interest saving account. And it could actually be more if, if the money is invested really smart. But let's be conservative here and 500 billion is enough to go for it. So what are possible fintech or innovative finance solutions for this? So there is borderless investments where I, for example, mentioned Savedo helping German savers to invest very safe, but about with 2% more interest rate abroad. That's one example of what could be done there. Then there is a new class, and we already heard somebody uh, of Cashboard speaking about that today, about automated asset management, which in the end is a very big opportunity because if most fund managers don't outperform their index, why not automating it and making it much cheaper? So we are also building a company in that space. And then there is a big opportunity in alternative investments. So with 1% interest rate, there is so much more to be made also for the not super smart retail investors that could be helped to invest more wisely in alternative investments. And then there is the opportunity to create smarter funds. And the public stock market fund that I'm currently setting up and launching soon, which invests only in internet companies, based on my special knowledge as an internet entrepreneur and my experience as a 70-year-old 70-year 17 year old investor in stocks, is also a way where I'm very sure we can generate a lot of alpha compared to what's out there right now. If we look at the opportunity, by comparing it, basically, with where are we now? This is the very, very beginning of the opportunity. By now, there is only 0.02% of assets invested in smart new players globally. This is nothing. This is really nothing. And it's a great starting moment for entrepreneurs moving in. And then? I believe it's very realistic that 10 years from now, because it's changing so fast, about 10 to 30 percent of assets will be invested into smart new fintech players and finance solutions that are basically developed right now. And that's out of 72 trillion in assets that could move in. So I'm very excited about the opportunity ahead. I'm since 12 years an entrepreneur, but I've never been working on better opportunities. And so I'm excited to drive this forward. And we don't want to drive this forward alone. It's basically that we are looking for the right top co-founders to join us in these adventures, to work with us on these companies. And it's also that we are always looking for additional smart co-investors to join us in our companies 
or eventually in very selected cases also in a company builder. So thank you very much. And uh, I will be around a few hours here. If you want to talk with me, get the opportunity. Thank you very much.